He was just as nervous when we sent him to Longleat. They sprayed the surface with paint and powdered pumice to stop the riders sliding off and having invited leading cycling stars of the continent, including the world sprint champion from Belgium, they set them all racing round Wembley's Empire Pool for six long days. Six days cycling all started here in the 1870s. Then the Americans took it up, pounding round Madison Square Garden on their penny farthings till they dropped. Eventually they hit on the idea of two-man teams sharing the pedaling. Ever since, team racing has been known as Madison. Now the sport's back in its birthplace, but even though techniques have changed and they now race on special silk tyres, the thrills and surprises are much as they've always been. Competitors in the National Autocross Championship have been living rough all season. Autocross is the newest form of motorsport and one of the cheapest, and you can compete in almost any sort of car. This is only the second national championship to be held. Eleven hundred yards of grass circuit near Silverstone, with every driver racing against the clock. More than a hundred autocross men in eight different classes had qualified for the final based on their performance throughout the year. And taking the title, Rod Chapman in his twin cam four. Last year's winner, Peter Watkin, presents the trophy. Meanwhile at Monza, the Formula One aristocrats snarl off in the Italian Grand Prix. The weather was hot, so was the pace. Car after car dropped out, and the lead changed 15 times in 40 laps. And then only Denny Halm in a McLaren Ford was left. His rivals had all broken down. Of 20 starters, only six were running at the finish. Halm, last year's world champion, wins his first Grand Prix of the season in a record 145.4 miles an hour. Second by a whisker, Johnny Seville's Gavin of France. Third, Belgium's Jackie X in a Ferrari. Visitors to the old mining town of Eula.